After months of waiting, waterfowl hunting season is finally upon us. There's an air of excitement as you dust off the spread of decoys, pull out the duck call, put on your camo, check your shotgun, grab some shells, and load up the truck and man's best friend. The glorious marsh is calling. The lake is a magnet for migratory waterfowl because its 400,000 acres of wetlands comprise the largest remaining wetland ecosystem in the American West and one of the most important bird habitats in the Western Hemisphere. The lake's wetlands support 8 to 10 million migratory birds from 230 species, which travel from every country in the Americas. Some gather in larger numbers than anywhere else on the planet. 35 species of waterfowl rely on Great Salt Lake wetlands, including 1 million northern pintails, 600,000 green-winged till, 75% of all the tundra swans in the United States, 375,000 mallards, 60,000 ruddy ducks, plus cinnamon till, gadwall, redheads, common golden eyes, Canadian geese, and the list goes on and on. But now the lake's wetlands are in trouble. Upstream diversions of the lake's water sources have reduced the lake's size to just 48% of its average volume, and it is near its lowest level ever recorded. Even more worrisome is a massive new proposed water diversion on the Bear River. The Bear River is the largest water source entering the lake, supplying 60 to 70% of the lake's surface water. A Salt Lake County water supplier wants to divert the Bear River to provide lawn water for Wasatch Front residents and the agency has poured hundreds of thousands of dollars into lobbying the Utah legislature for the project. This massive diversion would lower the lake several more feet and dry up tens of thousands of acres of wetlands, impacting the millions of birds that depend on the lake to survive. Waterfowl hunters travel to the Great Salt Lake from all over, braving the cold weather to launch their boats and set their decoys up on the lake for the experience of a lifetime. But with the Bear River and the Great Salt Lake now under siege, are hunters prepared to face a harsh new reality? Unless we take immediate action, the waterfowl that rely on the Great Salt Lake could soon have nowhere to land and hunters nowhere to hunt. It's time to stop the Bear River diversion from drying up our wetlands and the waterfowl habitat these wetlands support. The Utah Rivers Council is working to stop the Bear River Diversion, and we've been advocating for the Bear River at the Utah Legislature for many years. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. I'll be brief. My name is Nick Scow. I'm the Conservation Director for Utah Rivers Council. We need your help to save the wetlands and waterfowl of the Great Salt Lake before they become a distant memory. Please help us. Visit SaveTheBearRiver.org.